It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I want to give you something that I hope you can actually take and kind of digest a little bit and today I want the facts just the facts because I think most of us are confused about what they are considering that I look at so many um, pre-written complaints or uh, motions and they are filled with shit that are not facts. Anderson v. Liberty Lobby Inc. 477 U.S. 242 1986. It actually defines what a fact is. A fact is material if it may affect the outcome of a suit under the governing law. Now, this is what we consider evidence. Evidence are the facts. Regardless of an affidavit, regardless of any written statements, even the police reports, the facts are what we can see. They are the things that are tangible. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can actually, as in the videos, you can see it. It is something that supports what has been written, which is why a lot of times they don't turn them in because, yeah, they lie in their police report, so the video does not support them. It actually makes them liars and generally what happens is the prosecutor doesn't tell you that they're liars like they're supposed to and it becomes some other shit but what we have to do is stay on facts those are all facts 76 percent of all video by police are not turned over because the videos we're watching generally come from a bystander not police it's a fact that the prosecutor is supposed to tell you when a cop has lied on a police report or in court before, which would be testifying on a police report that they've lied on, which they don't do. And lastly, is Silotex Corp v. Catrect. Yeah, country shit, so sue me for it. 477 U.S. 317 1986. This gives you a little bit more detail of what a fact is. Factual disputes that are irrelevant or unnecessarily will not be counted. Those are the things that we talk about as hearsay because they are irrelevant. Nobody cares about your side and unnecessary because no one cares because all they deal with is law, not opinion. Your feelings don't matter. A genuine issue of material fact exists when the evidence with respect to the material fact in dispute is such that a reasonable jury can return a verdict for the non-moving party. Now, here's a kind of wordplay scenario. Because once you file something, you are the moving party whether you are the accuser or the one that stands to be accused, duh. But once there's an answer or a response, the others just switch sides because now the one that has to respond has to become the moving party or it becomes your win, which is why you must answer everything they send you, which is why whenever you're dealing with debt collectors, you must answer everything that's sent to you. And once the moving party has satisfied its burden, the burden shifts to the non-moving party to set forth specific facts showing that there is a genuine triable issue. This is why the evidence is necessary because just the facts, ma'am, only the facts matter. Not opinion, not 
anything else because you have to have facts for standing. You have to have facts for actually a complaint because a complaint without facts gets you into a 12B6 situation, which is why I tell you, get evidence prior to filing in federal court. These are the things that are necessary. So let's keep that in mind. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep growing. Thank you guys for donating. We have Apple Pay, Venmo, Cash App, Google Pay, and the Supreme Decision on PayPal. And of course, Zelle, for those that want to send from their bank account to mine and keep it going with no fees. So talk to you soon.